Welcome to the full face of Essence Beauty. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been using Essence for about 200 years now. Kidding, but seriously, for so long on my channel, and I am very excited to announce they're sponsoring today's video, and it's just like a full face of Essence, and I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? So I was so excited. It's like cool to um, be sponsored by a brand that you've been using for eons and eons. Thank you Essence for sponsoring today's video. Like I've been talking about your products forever and appreciating the affordability of Essence products and the quality of Essence products. Also Essence is a good dupe brand, okay? And I was telling them, I went to their event last night and I was telling the team, I was like, I remember like you would go and see the little Essence shelf and it would be like this big and y'all would have like just a couple products. Now they have had their Iconic Mascara for a long time. This is the Essence Lash Princess. Y'all know about this. Iconic, affordable mascara that's actually good. So I was telling them, I was like, y'all shelf used to be so small. Now they're so big. And they were like, we've grown so much over the years. Essence team actually told me they noticed that I have been talking about them for years and years. And I was like, oh. I didn't even think they even saw me. Honestly, it was one of those brands I was like, I don't even think they know. I don't even care that they know. I just genuinely love the product. So here we are. What a great year for beauty and brands and working with awesome iconic brands. So we're working with Essence today. So anyways, I'm gonna do a full face of Essence, affordable makeup. Well, let me show you some of the stuff. Listen, we got the new baked blushes. This is one of my favorite products by Essence. They have this brow and lash, it's clear, but it also makes for a good flyaway situation. Stick bronzers and blushes, cream. Love. And then they also have this Peachy Blossom blush palette where you get highlighters and blushes. Very pretty. They have a ton of stuff. The brand has grown so much, so I'm excited to dive in. But I don't know if you guys knew this, nothing in Essence is over $15, but to be honest, majority of their products are under 10. So we're talking really affordable, but good quality. If you didn't know, um, you can get Essence products at CVS, Target, Amazon. They have an Amazon store and then EssenceMakeup.com. And hello, the main place I honestly buy Essence is Ulta. Whenever I go there, I always stop at the Essence stand. Subscribe to my channel. Oh, that's like a different beat. You just forgot. Subscribe to my channel. But for you leave. Subscribe. Since we're doing a makeup video, honestly, we had to throw it back. We had to throw it back. Ooh. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of moisturizer before we jump on in because my skin is just a little bit dry today. Also, how about this? Oh, right here. Oof a big zit came in the middle of the night to attack me. And now we are left with her, so lovely. Okay, Essence Foundation. Now, if you guys saw my TikTok's dupes video, we saw how this was pretty much a dupe for the Makeup by Mario. It wears very similarly, and this is a long lasting foundation. It's transfer proof and waterproof, and I have to agree with that. This is one of the best affordable foundations. I've really been enjoying it, and honestly, the more that I wear it, and the more that I've played with it, the more that I've kind of fallen in love with it. So this is the Essence Keep Me Covered Foundation. Here we go. I have the shade 120, which is pretty much my skin tone. It's just a kiss warm for me. So I like to add like one pump of 100. This is such an affordable foundation. So it's easy to do two shades, but I'm just gonna squirt. I find that this foundation has pretty much medium coverage. And honestly, if you keep going with it, you can build this up to full coverage. So I'm just gonna swirl it. Look at that coverage. I mean, you can tell it's there. So look at this coverage. You see that? And it has a little bit of luminosity. Like this is not a just like basic matte finish. It's like a semi matte, like it does dry down, but look at the coverage. I told you guys, it's called Keep Me Covered for a reason. But it's kind of nice to see such an affordable foundation have a like give, it's giving, you know? That's what we need in this day and age. I feel like, you know, the affordable brands, it was like, oh my gosh, you would like discover like gems from them, but I feel like they've elevated so much over the years that like now we can count on like a full face of affordable makeup because it's gotten so good and has like really leveled up. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. But I'm gonna leave all the products that I use today right in the description box if you wanna check them out. They also have this product that's sold out, y'all. I'm like, oh my God, I want it so bad. I meant to mention it to them last night. It's like a 
dupe for the Benetint and they have it, but it's sold out everywhere. Like I even looked on eBay. I was gonna try to get it off of eBay and it's not even there. So I'm hoping one day I'll be able to get that. But yeah, Essence dupe game is getting real strong. Okay, there we go. You see how it starts to dry down a little bit? So it's a little bit um, shiny, but not too shiny. It's somewhere in the middle, kind of like the Mario foundation. So there's that 120 and 100 mixed. So we're gonna bump into the Keep Me Covered concealer. I was really excited to see them come out with base products. By the way, this right here is fragrance free, silicone free, mineral oil free, and it's also vegan makeup. This is shade light medium 06. And it comes on like this dope foot applicator. And I will say it's more of like a liquid formula. So it does blend out really nicely. One little hack with your concealer. If you leave your concealer on, you don't wanna do this with a concealer that's like super fast dry down, but one that's not super fast dry down, if you leave your concealer on for like 30 seconds before you blend it, it will kind of cake up just a little. You don't want it to dry down like this, but you want it to just, I'm talking let the warmth of your skin and it settle in, and then, then you'll get a little bit more full coverage from it. That doesn't work with every concealer. It's more like ones that are more liquidy like this. I'm gonna take a little kabuki and I'm just gonna pat this out and blend it like that. Isn't that pretty? You see how quick and easy this formula blended out? It's because it's like a liquidy formula. So this is a good one. We're gonna do the same thing over here. This is gonna blend really easy because of its lightweight, like liquidy formula. So we're just pressing it in rather than swiping. I like to like build it because I'm really dark over here. So I like to build it by stippling it around my eye. And then over here, I'll do some swipes because it doesn't have to be so full coverage over here and like around the forehead, you can swipe. But patting builds, Swiping disperse, if that helps. <laughs> I'm still teaching makeup. It's been 25 years. Just kidding. Next, they have the Baby Got Bronze. Little bronze and sticks. Aren't these cute? Okay, let's see. I have Mocha Me Crazy and Cinnamon Spice. This is Mocha. It's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna use Mocha. This is Cinnamon, and it is a little bit lighter. I feel like this one is a little bit cooler for contouring. This is a touch warmer for bronzing. These are incredibly affordable, and they are great. Great little contour sticks. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Isn't it nice? Cause I feel like like obviously high end makeup's great and all, but like honestly it's so expensive. Like I find myself like, you know, you go to Sephora, you spend, you get two items, it's a hundred dollars, which is like fun to spoil yourself and like do that and all and have that moment. I'm gonna take a little bit of the cinnamon and mix it on my brush, but it's all fun and games until it's like not, you know, and you want some affordability. It's nice to have brands now that have good quality products that don't break the bank. I'm gonna mix, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the cinnamon. Blending out on a big zit like that is painful, <laughs> okay? But it's worth it, so we're gonna do it. But oh my God, the zit appeared, and I was like, what in the world? Like, I was like, I woke up and the side of my face was hurting. I was like, what's going on? Let's keep the party. Moving. Next, Baby Got Blush in their little sticks. This is a cream blush and this one's peaches and cream. So this one is super pinky, but it has that nice peach undertone. Y'all know I love a peach. Now we're gonna pair this and use some of their baked blushes as well. Their baked blushes are really fine mill and they give me high end energy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buff some of this off. You can put it directly on your face. You can put it on your brush. You can even rub it on the back of your hand and then tap your brush into it, whatever, you know, works for you and your routine. So there we go. And we're just gonna build it. And this is a really nice creamy little blush stick. This color's so pretty. It's like almost gives me baby pink vibes with just like a little bit of peach up in there too. We're gonna set all this. And someone asked me once, they're like, why do you add cream products and then the powder products on top of the cream? And that's a great question. Basically, this is gonna build out a more full coverage makeup look. It's also gonna last a lot longer if you're building your foundation with the cream underneath and the powder on top. Also, I mean, this kind of started, I feel like, like caught wind whenever Miss Kimberly was like releasing her makeup routine, but Kimberly does red carpets. Kim Kardashian, I call her Kimberly, cause that's her name. But you know, she does red carpets, so she does more full looks. It just caught wind and it does look really good. Like it's more of a full beat look. You don't have to do both. You can just do powder if you want to and not all the cream, but it does last longer. It looks really good and it's gonna ensure your makeup's a little more pronounced and gonna last ya. Okay, I'm gonna set this glam and we're gonna be right back. I wanna show you guys 
this product is called Brighten Up. Now this I like to specifically use for my under eye. It's a pressed translucent powder and you can add this all over your face, but really these products are for brightening. So I specifically like to just kiss it right under here and maybe a little, you know, in the T-zone. These are great products also for touch up. So if you're out on the go, you could throw this in your purse with a little velvet sponge. And if you're oily, you know, give it a little touch up with something like this. But let me brighten my under eye and I'm gonna do it with a brush because the under eye is so delicate and small. I like to do a little bit of a eyeshadow brush so you can really target the product where you need it. But you can do this however you want. This is just how I like to use products like this so we're not, you know, distributing it all over this mug, honey. I need all the brightening I can get, you know. Boom, we're bright. Okay, so I'm torn right now because between this and the foundation is my favorite Essence products. So these are their baked blushes. They're called the Pure Nude Baked Blushes. They have a ton of shades. So here are two. We have two more. Look at all the different pinks and colors. This like magenta one's really pretty and deep for fall time. They have the baby pinks and as well. This is Cool Coral. This is Berry Cheeks. And then we have Bold Heart, which is like this really pretty. This is one of my favorite ones. So let me show you, they're so finely milled. They have like a nice amount of pigment, but not too much. And I find because they're so soft and finely milled that they don't get patchy. So we're just gonna add a little to build. You see how soft that blends out? For me, I don't really love to apply these right on top of a cream. I like to hit it with like a little bit of a translucent powder in between. So that way everything blends out really seamlessly. That's why I set my face in between. Blushy. Now for highlighter, I have Star Kiss. Now this is one that you mix together. You just blend it and you kind of get this like opal-y color highlighter. I really want to go in with this one. If you're like, I'm not into like the blinding highlight, but I still want to glow. They have the Be My Highlight. This one is in their Pure Nude collection. They came out with this many, many years ago. And it is more, this reminds me of a dupe for the Hourglass, but it's more of like a soft, subtle, beautiful glow. So I'll take products like this and like hit my forehead and chin with it just for like that natural glowiness. So pretty. And so I wanna get into this for the cheeks. Using an L35 brush, I'm going to mix the colors and then just lightly dust that across the cheeks to give us a soft, gorgeous, gorgeous glow. I mean, I'll rub it everywhere, to be honest. And then I'll take this part, just the tip of the nose. Very pretty. I love a little bit of glow. Okay, our face is done. We're about to work on these eyebrows. I love how everything is looking. It looks so pretty. We need to get rid of these foundation lips. So we're gonna clean them off. Okay, now we have brow pencils from Essence. So these are the Baby Got Brows eyebrow pencils. They're waterproof, so they're gonna last you. I have Light Brunette, which is a little bit of a more taupey color, but I'm gonna use the original brunette because it matches my hairs more. And it has this triangular tip on it, so you can use it a couple different ways. I like to focus the top of the teardrop because it's a little sharper, so you can get very precise with it. And as you can see, I already gelled my brows down but as you can see it's got a lot of pigment and so I'm gonna take the flat part of the pencil for the front of my brows to build them up a little bit and what's nice is these come with a spoolie so I'm gonna use the spoolie and we're gonna blend this into my eyebrows so it softens it up and then we're gonna use that top part for the end so we get like that sharp defined end of our brow okay now is a great time to acknowledge why eyebrows are so important look how much better this brow looks this, this brow literally looks gray because I put in a brow pomade and a lot of times we when you do that they will kind of put a lighter cast on your brow if you don't fill them in this literally matches my hair perfectly again this one's in brunette and it looks incredible so hello brows are important so we're gonna go ahead and just fill in this other brow over here imagine I just leave it I would do that y'all know I get messy in these videos but today we're gonna fill it in I remember a really long time ago I was doing like a YouTube I don't know I was like trying out new makeup or something and I don't know if some of y'all may remember this y'all may not but I forgot to do my eyebrows in the video that's how crazy I was getting okay I did the whole video and I ended it and then I closed the video and when I finished I looked in the mirror and I screamed I was like oh 
<gasps> my eyebrows are done. Oh my God, I did a whole video. So I went back and I, at the very end of the video, I put the eyebrows on, like the like after I closed it. Like I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer and just clean up. But anyways, I'd come back and I, <gasps> I put my eyebrows on and y'all were gagged. Y'all were like, what is going on? Cause you remember like, baby, the 2016 brows were it. And then I did a whole look with no brows and that was just like, not what it was gonna be, okay. Okay, I wanna show you guys, this is the lash and brow. So you can see for your lashes, your brows. What I like products like this for is flyaways because I am the flyaway master. Okay, I have the craziest flyaways always because my hair is like medium to fine. So it likes to get messy. So I'm about to put on some of their Juicy Bomb lip gloss just to hydrate my lips while we're finishing up this makeup. Mm, this tastes like peaches. Oh, it's called Sweet Peach. This is a non-sticky gloss with a peach scent. It literally smells just like peaches. Mm, mm, mm. I will say it's not sticky. I'm gonna give them that. It's not sticky. Okay, let's do our lashes. I'm gonna be using the Iconic Lash Princess. So we have Sculpt and Volume, and then this one gives us the False Lash Effect. So let me show you the wands. So on the green one, False Lash Effect, it kind of has this straight, bristly wand. And then the Sculpt and Volume has the curved wand. I like both of these. I'm gonna be using the Sculpt It Volume, and you wanna swizzle like this your wand in your tube, because whenever you pump, you're pressing air down in it and it's gonna dry on your mascara. Now, I pump mine all the time because I don't care. <laughs> it's not that I don't care, it's just like honestly I have it. And I'm just like, oh well. But we're, today we're gonna do it right. We're gonna, uh, uh, uh. we're gonna swizzle it to ensure we're not drying out our affordable mascara here. And then I'm just gonna coat, I just blink. Honestly, some people like to, you know, wiggle it at the base and do their routine. I know makeup artists that literally, oh, this grabs the lashes so well. Do you know what this reminds me of, honestly? It reminds me of the Benefit, the new one by Benefit, like the way it snatches the lashes. I also like to hold this wand instead of like this. I like to hold it almost literally upside down because I feel like that bowed curvedness in the wand, it grabs the lashes without me making a big mess on my eye. Honey, the lashes are lashing today. Now what I'm gonna do is go back into our highlighter because I love to add just like a little pop of color to our inner corner. So I'm gonna focus right here into this color. I'm gonna use a pencil brush so I can get really detailed in there. A smaller brush is really the way to go. And you can literally just build up that up a little bit in the inner corner. And you can see it gives you like that little bit of glow. It's gonna open up your eye. It's gonna make you look so awake. Like you just got 19 hours of sleep when you did it. And this is just a little trick. Also, if you wanna do a little glow on the brow bone, super pretty, super natural, you can do the same thing over here and just add a little bit. And this is like a natural, pretty glow. Look at that brow hair to add to the brow bone, but it's not too much, you know? And I'll even take the same pencil brush and just build up on my nose. Something that I like to do whenever I'm not wearing false lashes and I'm just doing it. By the way, Essence does have false lashes, so. I mean, we can take it there if we want to, but I like to get Give my lashes a little extra curl after the mascara, but this part is not mandatory in the world of glamming. I'm gonna add the Rosy Nude Lip Liner by Essence. This is a waterproof lip liner, so it will last you. And I'm honestly gonna fill in my lips with it. I put a little bit of brown on, and see this color's just like this pretty, pretty nude pink. I'm gonna add a gloss on top, so it's gonna look really good, but I'm gonna fill in my lips with this. And I like doing a lip liner all over because lip liners are meant to last for a long time. That's why a lot of them are waterproof, um, a more long wear texture. And then that way, whenever you put a gloss, which we're gonna put on top of it, it's gonna just make your lips stay on much, much longer. And this is what the lip liner looks like all over. Honestly, we could leave it like this and just, you know, let it be what it is because it's so pretty. This one is 06 Rosy Nude. It's such a pretty, pretty, pretty pinky nude lip liner and you can wear it all over if you want to take it there like I did. I'm going to add a little bit of their gloss. So I have two here and right now I'm like, I think this one's going to be the move. So this is Candy Shop, a little deeper. Then we have Dusty Rose, a little bit lighter. These are their Extreme Shine Lippies. Ooh, that's so pretty. That is the Dusty Rose and also Maximum Volume going on. Okay, and then Candy Shop has a little bit of a pinky color. What should we do? Let's do candy shop. <gasps> mm -hmm. 
so pretty and i just added a little bit and rubbed it in so pretty and adds just a tiny 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 bit of sparkle by the way a little tidbit essence beauty i didn't realize is like way bigger in europe and they have exploded in the u.s now but for so long they were bigger in europe so all of their makeup adheres to the strict EU beauty standards, meaning no parabens and a lot of their products. Also the makeup's cruelty free. So it adheres to those strict standards while still being very affordable. So this is our finished look. What do we think? What was your favorite product from Essence that I used? If I had to pick just three Essence products that I get to take with me today, let me tell you what I'd pick. First and foremost, the foundation. Now this was a hard pick between the concealer and foundation because the coverage was great. I find that if you get the concealer, and you have dark under eyes. Also grab the Brighten Up because these work great in pair. I like to set my concealer first with a translucent powder and then go back in with the Brighten Up just to add that extra layer of brightness. This is translucent, so it's also not gonna be build up and cakey. It's gonna sit really, really smooth on your under eye and look fantastic. This was hard for me, but I will say I really like the foundation just because I've worn it so many times and I know how good and pretty it is on my skin, but the price, you can't beat it. So number one, I would say the foundation. Period. Number two, it's gonna be hard. These big blushes, I think, are like some of the hottest products that Essence has ever made. I love their pure nude baked highlighter that they've had for so long, but I like the blushes more. We're in a blushy era for all of us right now. And these just are so pretty in the color options. I mean, they have like so many of them. So that is why the Essence baked blushes win for the number two product I would take home with me. And then for number three, I know this lip liner is such a dupe for some really high-end lip liners. It's such a pretty color. Looks incredible on the lips. So the, and, and their uh, products like their lip liners and eyeliners, by the way, I have two of their eyeliners here, are so pretty, very affordable. So I would go with this specific lip liner. The color is Rosy Nude 06. If you see it, grab it, grab three. <laughs> it's hard because I really like the brows and mascara too, but they have a lot of really, really good quality products. So that's it for our look today. Don't forget to check them out. Of course, I'll link them down below and link every product I use. You can get them at EssenceMakeup.com. You can get them at Ulta. You can get them at Target. You can get them at CVS. So they're kind of everywhere. They're expanding and they have great stuff. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, smash the subscribe button before you're on your way out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this look and our affordable products. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.